How are you guys doing? Today is Thursday, November 11th, 2021. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to review the elite matchups and performances from yesterday, Wednesday, November 10th, 2021. Just to take a quick snapshot of where we are in the year with the MLB season that coming to a close, uh, right now we are in the midst of football season as college football's about a month away from being over. The NFL is in the very middle of its season. Basketball is in the dawn of its season as it's about a week behind the NHL season. Uh, Not to mention that college basketball is just getting started underway. Starting off with college basketball, there were two ranked matchups from yesterday. Starting off with the sixth ranked team in the nation, the Michigan Wolverines hosted the unranked Buffalo Bulls. Uh, Michigan would outscore Buffalo by 15 points in the first half uh, in order to pick up this 12 point win. The Wolverines were led in scoring by their starting center, Hunter Dickinson. Hunter Dickinson would finish with 27 points uh, and six rebounds in 32 minutes as he shot 11 for 17 from the field. With this win, the six-ranked Michigan Wolverines are 1-0 to start their season. And with this loss, the unranked Buffalo Bulls are 0-1 to start theirs. Taking a look at what's going on with the 20th ranked basketball team in the nation, the Florida State Seminoles hosted unranked Penn. Florida State was able to pull off a 105 to 70 win. They won by 35 after they outscored Penn by 12 in the first half. They outscored Penn by 23 in the second half. The 20th ranked Florida State Seminoles were led in scoring by their starting forward, Malik Osborne. Malik Osborne would finish the game with 18 points and 13 rebounds in 23 minutes. He shot 4 for 6 from the field and 9 for 12 from the free throw line. With this win, the 20th ranked Penn St- or the 20th ranked Florida State Seminoles are 1 and 0, and with this loss, the unranked Penn Quakers are 0 and 1 in their basketball season. That is what college basketball is looking like at the moment. Taking a look at what's going on at the NBA level, jumping out to Cleveland, the Cavaliers hosted the Washington Wizards. The Wizards would end up beating the Cavs 97 to 94 after the Wizards outscored the Cavaliers by nine points in the fourth quarter to overcome their six point deficit. The Cleveland Cavaliers were led in scoring by their point guard off the bench, Ricky Rubio. He would finish with 20 points, five rebounds and five assists, as well as two steals in 28 minutes. He shot 6 for 15 from the field and 7 for 8 from the foul line. The Washington Wizards were led in scoring by their starting small forward out of Utah and their center off the bench out of Louisville. Kyle Kuzma finished with 22 points and 5 rebounds in 35 minutes as he shot 8 for 14 from the field and 6 for 9 from 3. Their center, Montrez Harrell, off the bench, finished with 22 points, 11 rebounds, and two steals in 26 minutes. He shot 8 for 12 from the field and a perfect 6 for 6 from the foul line. Their elite starting shooting guard, Bradley Beal, finished with 15 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists in 37 minutes. He shot 4 for 19 from the field, 1 for 5 from 3, and a perfect 6 for 6 from the foul line. With this win, the Washington Wizards are 8 and 3. With this loss, the Cleveland Cavaliers are 7 and 5. Jumping out to Orlando, the Magic hosted the Brooklyn Nets. The Nets would end up beating the Orlando Magic by 33 points. They won it 123 to 90. The Nets outscored the Magic by 12 points in the first half. They would outscore the Magic by 7 in the third and 14 in the fourth, outscoring them by 21 in the second half. The Orlando Magic were led in scoring by their starting center, or I'm sorry, they were led in scoring by their shooting guard off the bench, Terrence Ross. He finished with 17 points in 20 minutes as he shot 7 for 14 from the field. The Brooklyn Nets were led in scoring by their goaded starting power forward, Kevin Durant. He finished with 30 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 6 turnovers in 29 minutes. He shot 11 for 12 from the field, a perfect 2 for 2 from 3, and 6 for 7 from the foul line. Their elite starting shooting guard, James Harden, would finish with 17 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists, 2 steals, and 6 turnovers for the day. Their center off the bench, LaMarcus Aldridge out of Texas, would finish with 21 points and 8 rebounds in 22 minutes. 
He shot 9 for 16 from the field and a perfect 3 for 5 from the three-point line. And with this win, the Brooklyn Nets are now 8 and 4. With this loss, the Orlando Magic are now 3 and 9 at this point in the season. Taking a look at what's going on in Boston, the Boston Celtics hosted the Toronto Raptors. The Celtics would end up beating the Raptors 104 to 88 after the Celtics outscored the Raptors by 16 points in the first half. The Raptors were led in scoring by their starting small forward, their rookie out of Florida State, Scotty Barnes. He finished with 21 points and 7 rebounds in 32 minutes. He shot 7 for 11 from the field and 7 for 8 from the foul line. Their elite starting power forward, Pascal Siakam, finished with 8 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, and 2 steals in 30 minutes. He shot 3 for 7 from the field and a perfect 2 for 2 from the foul line. The Boston Celtics were led in scoring by their elite starting small forward out of Duke, Jason Tatum. He finished with 22 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists in 37 minutes. He shot 8 for 24 from the field, 3 for 7 from 3, and 3 for 4 from the foul line. Their starting point guard out of Germany, Dennis Schroeder, finished with 20 points and 8 turnovers in 34 minutes. He shot 8 for 5 or 8 for 15 from the field, 2 for 3 from 3, and a perfect 2 for 2 from the foul line. With this win, the Boston Celtics are now sitting with a big win over the Toronto Raptors within their division, especially this one at home. Taking a look at what went down in Madison Square Garden, the New York Knicks hosted the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks would end up beating the Knicks 112 to 100. The Bucks outscored the Knicks by nine in the first quarter and just rode that momentum through the end of the game, essentially. The New York Knicks were led in scoring by their point guard off the bench, former NBA MVP Derrick Rose out of Memphis. He finished with 22 points, seven assists, and three steals in 30 minutes. He shot eight for 15 from the field and six for eight from three. Uh, the New York Knicks elite starting point guard Kemba Walker would finish with two points and two assists in 18 minutes as he shot one for seven from the field on the night. The Milwaukee Bucks were led in scoring by their shooting guard off the bench out of, by out of Notre Dame, Pat Connaughton. Pat Connaughton finished with 23 points, nine rebounds, and five assists in 31 minutes. He shot eight for 14 from the field and seven for 13 from three. Uh, their elite starting power forward, Giannis Antetokounmpo, would finish with 15 points. 15 rebounds, 8 assists, and 2 blocks in 38 minutes. He shot 5 for 15 from the field, 2 for 5 from 3, and 3 for 4 from the foul line. With this win, the Milwaukee Bucks are 6-6. Six and six. With this loss, the New York Knicks are now 7-5. and five. Taking a look at one down in Houston, the Rockets hosted the Detroit Pistons. And in this matchup between the 1 and 2 overall picks of the 2021 overall NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons would end up beating the Rockets 112 to 104 after they outscored the Rockets by nine in the second half to overcome their one point deficit at halftime. The Houston Rockets were led in scoring by the number two overall pick from the 21 NBA draft, Jalen Green. Jalen Green finished with 23 points and five rebounds in 38 minutes as he shot eight for 20 from the field and a perfect four for four from the foul line. Their starting center, Christian Wood, finished with 20 points and nine rebounds in 37 minutes. He shot seven for 14 from the field, three for six from three as well from the night. And then the, and the Detroit Pistons were led in scoring by their starting small forward, Jeremy Grant. He finished with 35 points and five rebounds, as well as two blocks in 35 minutes. He shot 12 for 23 from the field, four for nine from three and seven for nine from the foul line. And the number one overall pick from the 21 NBA draft, the Pistons starting point guard, Kate Cunningham, finished with 20 points and two steals in 30 minutes as he shot eight for 18 from the field and four for eight from three. With this win, the Detroit Pistons are now two and eight. With this loss, the Houston Rockets are 1-10. They are the first team to double-digit losses on the season. 
taking a look at what's going on in Chicago. The Chicago Bulls hosted the Dallas Mavericks, and the Bulls were able to beat the Mavericks 117-107. to uh, The Chicago Bulls were able to outscore the Mavericks by 16 points in the middle two quarters combined. The Mavericks were led in scoring by their starting center, Kristaps Porzingis. The Latvian big man finished with 22 points and 12 rebounds in 32 minutes as he shot 9 for 16 from the field, 2 for 3 from 3, and a perfect 2 for 2 from the foul line. Their starting small forward out of Michigan, Tim Hardaway Jr., finished with 21 points in 33 minutes. He shot 7 for 15 from the field, 5 for 9 from 3, and 2 for 3 from the foul line. Their elite starting point guard out of Slovenia, Luka Doncic, finished with 20 points, 8 rebounds, 10 assists, and 4 steals in 33 minutes. He shot 6 for 18 from the field, 1 for 6 from 3, and 7 for 10 from the foul line. The Chicago Bulls were led in scoring by their starting shooting guard out of UCLA, Zach Levine. He finished with 23 points in 32 minutes as he shot 8 for 12 from the field, a perfect 2 for 2 from 3, and 5 for 6 from the foul line. Their starting point guard out of UCLA, Lonzo Ball, finished with 21 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists in 39 minutes as he shot 7 for 14 from the field. All of his 7 made attempts were from three he went seven for ten from three with this win the chicago bulls are now eight and three on the season and with this loss the dallas mavericks are now seven and four as both these teams are off to pretty good starts this year Taking a look at what's going down in Tennessee, the Memphis Grizzlies hosted the Charlotte Hornets from one state away. The Hornets would end up beating the Grizzlies 118 to 108 after they outscored the Grizzlies by 10 points in the second quarter. The Memphis Grizzlies were led in scoring by their elite starting point guard, John Morant. He finished with 32 points, 7 rebounds, and 8 assists. Um, he would do all this as well as post three steals in 37 minutes as he shot 13 for 27 from the field, one for six from three, and a perfect five for five from the foul line. Their small forward off the bench, Dylan Brooks, finished with 20 points, six assists, and two steals in 26 minutes. He went on to shoot eight for 17 from the field and four for seven from three. Uh, looking at the Charlotte Hornets, they were led in scoring by their shooting guard off the bench out of Kansas, Kelly Oubre Jr. He finished with 37 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 steals in 31 minutes. He shot 13 for 17 from the field, 7 for 9 from 3, and a perfect 4 for 4 from the foul line. The Hornets starting small forward, Gordon Hayward, finished with 25 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, and 5 turnovers in 38 minutes. He shot 6 for 15 from the field, 2 for 6 from 3, and a perfect 11 for 11 from the foul line. The Hornets' elite starting point guard, LaMelo Ball, finished with 12 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists, as well as 2 steals in 32 minutes. He shot 5 for 13 from the field and 2 for 7 from 3. With this win, the Charlotte Hornets are now 6 and 7. With this loss, the Memphis Grizzlies are now 6 and 5 at this point in the season. Taking a look at what's going on in New Orleans, the New Orleans Pelicans hosted the Oklahoma City Thunder. Actually, I'm sorry, they were the fastest team to double-digit losses. But the Thunder were, gave, made the Pelicans the first team to 11 losses as well. The Thunder were able to beat the Pelicans 108-100, to winning the game by 8 after outscoring the Pelicans by 9 in the second quarter and by 6 in the third, by 15 in the middle two quarters. The New Orleans Pelicans winless at home were led in scoring by their starting shooting guard out of virginia tech Nikhil alexander walker alexander walker finished with 33 points 10 rebounds and two steals in 34 minutes he shot 10 for 22 from the field and 9 for 11 from the foul line their starting center Jonas valanciunas finished with 25 points and 15 rebounds in 39 minutes he shot 9 for 20 from the field and 6 for 7 from the free throw line. The Oklahoma City Thunder were led in scoring by their starting small forward, Lou Gens Dort. Uh, Dort, was finish, Lou Dort would finish with 27 points and 5 rebounds in 34 minutes. He shot 8 for 13 from the field and 9 for 10 from the foul line. Their starting point guard, Shea Gilgis Alexander, would finish with 24 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 blocks, and 5 turnovers in 36 minutes.
He shot 7 for 19 from the field and 8 for 11 from the foul line. With this win, the Oklahoma City Thunder are now 4-6. and six, And with this loss, the New Orleans Pelicans are 1-11. and 11. They still have yet to win a game at home in the Smoothie King Arena. Jumping out to San Antonio one state away, the San Antonio Spurs hosted the Sacramento Kings. The Spurs will pull off a 137-117 to win after they outscored Sacramento by 17 points in the first half. The Kings were led in scoring by their starting point guard out of Kentucky, De'Aaron Fox. He finished with 37 points and 6 assists as well as 3 blocks in 35 minutes. Fox shot 14 for 24 from the field uh, and 7 for 8 from the foul line. He also shot 2 for 5 from 3. The San Antonio Spurs were led in scoring by their starting point guard, DeJounte Murray. He finished with 26 points on the night, as well as 6 rebounds, 7 assists, and 2 steals in 32 minutes. He shot 11 for 21 from the field, 2 for 5 from 3, and a perfect 2 for 2 from the foul line. With this win, the San Antonio Spurs are now 4-7. and seven. With this loss, the Sacramento Kings are now 5-7. and seven. Taking a look now at what's going on in Denver, the Denver Nuggets hosted the Indiana Pacers, and the team that features the reigning MVP were able to hold off the Pacers, winning this one 101-98 after outscoring the Pacers by four points in the third quarter, which would be the difference in this game. The Pacers would be led in scoring by their starting point guard out of Virginia, Malcolm Brogdon. He finished with 25 points, five assists, three steals, and two blocks in 35 minutes. He shot 11 for 21 from the field, and then their starting power forward out of Gonzaga, Reigning back-to-back All-Star Demontis Sabonis would finish with 22 with with 20 points, 19 rebounds, and two assists in 33 minutes. Sabonis shot nine for 14 from the field, one for two from three, and he made both of his or and he made his only free throw on the night. The Denver Nuggets would be led in scoring by their starting small forward Will Barton. He finished with 30 points and six rebounds, as well as two steals in 34 minutes. He finished with a he finished shooting 11 for 19 from the field, 6 for 9 from 3 and a perfect 2 for 2 from the foul line. With this win, the Denver Nuggets are now 7 and 4 and with this loss, the Indiana Pacers are 4 and 8. Taking a look at what's going down in Phoenix, the Suns hosted the Portland Trailblazers and the Suns were able to beat the Trailblazers 119 to 109. The Suns were able to beat the Trailblazers by 10 after outscoring them by 12 in the second quarter. The Portland Trailblazers were led in scoring by their elite starting point guard, Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard, was let, he would finish with 28 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists in 38 minutes. He shot 12 for 23 from the field, 1 for 4 from 3, and 3 for 4 from the foul line. Their starting small forward, Norman Powell, finished with 23 points in 29 minutes. He shot 8 for 17 from the field and 4 for 5 from the foul line. The Phoenix Suns were led in scoring by their elite starting point guard. At least their starters were led in scoring by Chris Paul. Chris Paul finished with 21 points, 4 rebounds, and 7 assists in 37 minutes. He shot 9 for 16 from the field, 1 for 3 from 3, and 2 for 3 from the foul line. Their power forward off the bench out of Wisconsin, Frank Kaminsky, finished with 31 points and 7 rebounds in 32 minutes. He shot 12 for 18 from the field, 2 for 5 from 3, and a perfect 5 for 5 from the foul line. Their elite starting shooting guard, Devin Booker, would finish with 12 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists in 37 minutes. Booker shot 5 for 15 from the field and 2 for 6 from 3. With this win, the Phoenix Suns are now 7-3, and three, and with this loss, the Portland Trailblazers are now 5-7. and seven. Uh, Taking a look at now at what's going on in, Col- or in San Francisco, the Golden State Warriors hosted the Minnesota Timberwolves, and in this matchup, the Warriors would beat the Timberwolves 123-110 to after the Warriors outscored the Timberwolves by 15 in the first half. The Timberwolves were led in scoring by their former number one overall pick, Anthony Edwards, the small forward out of Georgia. He finished with 48 points, six rebounds, five assists, two steals, and six turnovers in 42 minutes. 
He shot 16 for 27 from the field, 7 for 13 from 3, and 9 for 12 from the foul line. Their elite starting point guard, D'Angelo Russell, would finish with 18 points and 7 assists in 34 minutes. He shot 7 for 15 from the field and 4 for 10 from 3. Their elite starting center, Carl Anthony Towns, finished with 17 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals in 38 minutes. He shot 6 for 19 from the field, 5 for 10 from 3, meaning he went 1 for 9 from 2. And then looking at how the Golden State Warriors fared, they were led in scoring by their former number one pick, Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins finished with 35 points and two steals in 32 minutes. He shot 14 for 19 from the field, three for six from three, and a perfect four for four from the foul line. Their goaded starting point guard, Stephen Curry, finished with 25 points, five rebounds, and six assists in 34 minutes. He shot eight for 16 from the field, three for nine from three, and six for eight from the foul line. With this win, the Golden State Warriors are 10 and one. And with this loss, the Minnesota, the Minnesota Timberwolves are now three and seven. Last but not least, taking a look at what's going on in the Staples Center last night, the Los Angeles Lakers hosted the Miami Heat. The Lakers would pull off a 120 to 117 win in a rematch of the 2020 NBA Finals after they outscored the Heat eight to five in overtime. Uh, the Miami Heat were led in scoring by their elite starting center out of Kentucky, Bam Adebayo. Adebayo finished with 28 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, and 6 steals as he fouled out in 34 minutes. He shot 9 for 20 from the field and 10 for 11 from the foul line. Their elite starting small forward, Jimmy Butler, within the starting lineup, would finish with seven points and two steals in 12 minutes as he shot one for three from the field in a perfect five for five from the foul line. And off the bench, their guard out of Kentucky, Tyler Hero, finished with 27 points in 42 minutes. He shot 11 for 22 from the field and five for eight from three. The Los Angeles Lakers were led in scoring by their shooting guard off the bench out of Kentucky, Malik Monk. He finished with 27 points and six rebounds in 35 minutes. He shot 10 for 13 from the field, four for seven from three, and three for four from the foul line. Um, their leading score amongst their starters was also, or was not, was not a Kentucky guy, but the next guy was. Um, it was their elite starting point guard out of UCLA, their or their goaded starting point guard, Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook would finish with 25 points, 12 rebounds, and 14 assists alongside two blocks and eight turnovers, as well as five fouls in 43 minutes. He shot 10 for 22 from the field, three for seven from three, and a perfect two for two from the foul line. Um, with this win, Russ, or I guess also alongside Russell Westbrook, um, and then whose birthday is actually today, by the way, um, their elite starting power forward out of Kentucky, Anthony Davis, would finish with 24 points and 13 rebounds in 45 minutes. He shot 10 for 23 from the field, one for two from three and three for four from the foul line. With this win, the Los Angeles Lakers are now seven and five. And with this loss, the Miami Heat are now seven and four. That is what the NBA is looking like as the, as the most uh, international soccer is taking a break at the moment. And with that said, I want to thank the NFL, NBA, um, and of course, the college basketball websites for all of the facts and figures that I needed in order to do this episode. And of course, I want to thank everyone for listening to all 23 minutes of this. I hope all is well. And once all of today's exhibitions and matchups are done, I will come back tomorrow on Friday, November 12th for another episode of The Elite. So until then, thanks for listening to this piece um, and I will catch you tomorrow. Peace out.